Thanks for being here, everybody. I'm being patient today. Thanks. It's good because we're going to get to your audience questions, uh, but before we do, yeah, I mean, well, welcome to Dallas Fan Expo, all of you guys. Uh, wait, what is it? What's the dynamic like being back together at a con uh, after so long of not being together? Is it trading war stories? Are you guys uh, remembering things that have long been forgotten about the show? I had a very awkward moment with Chris, and I was like, it's me. Tom. We work together. Small. We, we, were, we were watching this uh, reel in the background, and you guys were seeing it, and Kristen goes, Bunch of babies! <laughs> oh no, just she said, Look at my babies! <laughs> I did not say that. You didn't say that? No, but yeah, it was I, I thought I heard that. That's what Tank just said. You really shouldn't be turning your neck like that. Like, I know, I have to keep my head surgery, so, you know, it's all for Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> Very sweet of you. Uh, well, hey, uh, you guys have questions, right? Let's uh, let's go ahead and start right away. Let's right up top. My question is: of the arcs that your characters went through that you remember, which story arc would be your favorite or most memorable? Favorite story arc, Kristen. <laughs> Kristen. Well, guys. <laughs> Christmas, the story of Lex and Lana and love. That's my That's where I really got to know you, Michael. I always thought that relationship was hilarious. Hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> every time I saw it, like in the editing or whatever, or even directing it, I was it's hilarious to see the two of you, like, because I know you, you know, you meet each other and stuff, and it's just like, I knew you were playing him the whole time, and he didn't care. Like, <laughs> Watching scenes of this. <laughs> why I became an executive producer so I could just go watch scenes of you guys. <laughs> oh, by the way, you know what I love to do, Tom? We have a sign language person here. I love that. That's beautiful. I, I respect that. Thank you. We thank you that we have someone here to help those who can hear like we can. Um, right there. But there is one thing I like to do that I find really fun. And I hope. I hope you'll be okay. Right. I like to say this one word because I just want to see how it is in uh, sign language. Right. And that word is diarrhea. Oh. Uh, I had diarrhea last week. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm over the diarrhea. It was explosive. <laughs> Thank you for getting my story about diarrhea. Oh, well, Michael, after uh, after experimenting with the diarrhea, uh, have, have you tried to do the sign for it? I do it while I'm defecating. <laughs> Schneider had a big part of that. Uh, 
Yeah. 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 I can tell through the shadow. Are you very sure? It's extra large. It's too small. And I have no idea how long you've been wearing this. I have no idea. I know. And uh, my, my, my question, question on this. From a fan's perspective, I know you guys have bounced around on many panels, but we would just rather like a live action movie or a TV series. No, I don't, you guys have bounced around an animated one, but we just we really want live action. So, I, I, I agree with you. Chris doesn't know about this. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, let's, let's excuse me for a second. Yeah. They've been doing small little comics. Yeah, yeah, they've been doing this. Yeah, they have been doing this. We haven't been paid. So you already know about us. We don't know about you. No, we were just talking about us, like what we were doing. Oh, yeah. So we're thinking of doing. Well, you can be now that you're now that you're aware. Well, we're thinking of doing a small little cartoon where you just yeah. voice yeah. voice yeah. 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 cartoon. 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 What? From a fan's perspective, we'd rather live action instead of we, anime. So you're asking us, asking them to greenlight this right now? No, I'm saying like, can they try to make that happen? Yes, I, let's all try to make that happen. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, you only got the one. But uh, there's a lot of other people behind you. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you gonna do an Arrow next season? No, that was a bad joke. Sorry, thank you for yeah. that up, because we wanted to know. Also, I like that I open the panel by saying, don't get weird, and then you say, we wear my clothes. Uh, so. It's better than, will you wear my skin? <laughs> true. It's, I mean, it's true. Thanks for putting it in perspective for me. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> What's your question? You guys can tell that we didn't have a lot much fun working together. Diarrhea, 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 diarrhea. It's really almost like balletics. It's, it's like so graceful. It's graceful. More on to me. As long as I make this woman laugh right here, we're okay. <laughs> yes, this is your question, diarrhea related. Okay, my question is, after Smallville, they started coming out with all these other CW TV shows about superheroes, so if y'all could be on any of those sh shows, which one would it be, and who would you play? Beauty and the Beast. <laughs>
Because <laughs> uh, he's a pro, he's a great guy. Probably, it's hard to meet a nicer person than Jensen and Jared. Um, I don't know if you guys are for them, but they're great guys. I like this guy's parents think he likes shit. Shit that I should have known, I know. But you should know that he's not exclusive. It's not legal. We came from Paris with Hold on. So, Michael, because. Actually, you, you answer the why. I'll ask the question. Michael, why did you only read the scenes of Lex Luthor? Legit, this is like an acting question. Because actor studios. Ask me again. Michael, during your years at Smallville, why was it that you made a choice to only read scenes of Lex Luthor? Well, Thomas, <laughs> I felt as though if Lex doesn't know what happened, why should I? It's like, I just know what I'm saying at these moments. I don't need to know everything else that is going on that Lex doesn't know is going on. If I just know what I'm saying, does that make sense, Tom? Yeah, because I remember, like, when you'd go to a scene and he'd say, Clark, where have you been? He didn't know. <laughs> it's made it better. And by the way, that is an actual little trick you can do for yourself as an actor. You do, can, you can make those choices, you know, like, where have you been? And it's helpful, because you, then you're being sincere. And the, the other thing I always thought with Smallville was really funny is that no one ever knocked. Like, people just showed up in the loft. Now, it was, it was really cool when Lana would just show up in the loft. Now, I'm afraid right of my little boy be doing other things. But then when Lex was in the loft, it was like, well, and then you get, like, uh, the Martian Manhunter or whoever the hell his name was. He was dead. Yeah, I'm a billionaire. I'm a billionaire, and my security sucks. I could be sitting there doing the most intense work. I'm like, oh, hey, how are you? Who let you in? I'm gonna have to fire him again. Did you ever notice that? I didn't at the time. They they actually shot the X Men movies at the Luther Mansion, and Lex didn't know about. I mean, we have a lot of heart in our show, and I think um, 
as far as like a flash, has a ton of heart, especially with the father-son dynamic. And the arrow's a little bit darker and more sort of individualistic as far as the characters relate to each other. But from a technology standpoint, um, I think that was a, the big break that allowed us to go, and then allowed the other shows to also blossom. Yeah. I just said blossom. Yeah. And we're also, we're very like proud of a lot of these guys. Like Daniel Panamaker and Stephen Amell, they're all great people, so it's great to see their success and, and the shows have so much success. And it just helps new fans find Smallville in a way, because Hulu just like released Smallville or at least a year ago or something. So we have these new fans that come in like, oh, I'm showing my son Smallville now. And it's, it's cool. It's like, who thought we'd be here at conventions and we'd have these fans still hanging out with us? So thank you guys. It's ridiculous. Please keep coming. Well, I think it's really notable that when you're the first to be able to last that long as I've well. never heard that one before. <laughs> This is your time, folks. <laughs> time well spent. I, uh... We're really having a lot of... What the hell? Slight technical glitch, as uh, Michael figures out. You trying to take a selfie? No. Important content is being created. So, uh, we're having a great time up here. Uh, Big audience, really love it. Uh, sign language, very important. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for being here. Uh, diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. Diarrhea, 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 explosive. Diarrhea. You made a sound though. She asked you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope all of you will have learned a sign by the end of the day. Take away from it. Fan Expo. Uh, Somebody out there's a Next question. Yeah. That's a good second. Sign them up. Hi, my name is Maddie. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he sounds like. Yeah, that's what I'm sorry. I've been a fan, uh, fan since I was five and the show came out, so yeah. And ever since I'm wondering, what was y'all's favorite prank pulled on set? Favorite prank on set? Um, well, I, I, one of my favorite is uh, Laura Vanderborg was on the show, and we were trying to, it was an episode with Alexis the President, and we were trying to, she was getting get shot, and she had these things called squibs, which is the visual, the, the special effects guy hits a trigger, and it, you know, the blood shoots out of you and it looks like you got shot. But we did it twice, and we'd be like, one, two, three, and on like three, she'd go like this, and then she'd get shot. So, and I thought, hmm, how can we make this better? So what we didn't tell Laura, was on the next day, we hit the trigger on two. And so it's in the actual, uh, the actual episode, is her not thinking she has another second before she gets shot. And, and so we hit the trigger before she could react to it. And so she's really surprised that she got shot. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? Yeah. <laughs> and, I was, and I remember being like, cut, perfect, next scene. <laughs> and I was just walking away, I heard this, <laughs> Laura's 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 Chris, how about you? Pranks? I, I don't remember any pranks. I remember that Emmanuel Boucher put fake poo in your toilet. That wasn't the first time. Oh. Tom put like 10 gallons of chili in my, in my share. And I walked there at 6 in the morning, opened my trailer, exhausted, they got to shave my head, probably cut me again. And I look at my whole trailer is full of what I think is crap. But days before, days before that, Michael, like we were like just talking, he goes, hey man, does anyone go in your trailer when you're not there? She's going back. She's going for me again. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> 
And I'm like, what do you mean this? I mean, wardrobe goes in there. I mean, you know, people go in and out of there, you know, get ready, whatever. And he goes, I'm pretty sure there's somebody taking a dump in my trailer when I'm out there. And I was like, no way. And he's like, yeah, I know. And I go, how do you know? He goes, I can just tell. I go, have you seen it? He goes, no. I just have a feeling. So, a couple days later, we tried to make it true for him. And I got this guy who's like six feet, like 500 pounds, Big Al. His name is literally Big Al. And he was like the, like the most quiet guy you ever in your life. So remember Teamsters? He'd be like, eh. Hey. That's it. That's all, that's all he ever said. And I had him walk out of Michael's trailer when Michael pulled up. <laughs> and he walked out. And Michael gets out of his car. He's like, hey! Hey! It's like a Seinfeld episode. He's like, hey! I just said, no, just keep walking. Don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Oh, tire me to jokes. <laughs> I apologize to no one. That's just <laughs> funny. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad we have a young person asking that. Hey, Batman. Yeah. What's up, Batman? Hi, how are you? What's your question? Hi, Batman, and my question is, what was the funniest, like, blooper on the set of Smallville? I'm just wondering, I like funny moments. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my favorite blooper, which isn't in the show, but I'll give you a little story. Um, there's an episode that we did where Michael played the president. I think it was the same episode I was just referring to. And Michael had a four or five page speech as president. He had to come out and, and speak. So we set up this podium and you know, we bring out the actor, who is Michael, to set up the lights and make sure everything looks good. And he comes out, and we're like, do you want to rehearse it? Michael's like, I don't need to rehearse it. I'm standing, I'm not moving, why should I rehearse it? You know, Michael will be like, I'm not moving, why should I do it? Like, fine, okay, cool. Alright, so 15, 20 minutes later, we call Michael out, and we're, he goes, let's shoot the first one. Like, okay, let's shoot the first one. And it really matters, and everybody pays attention. So we say, action, and Michael comes out, stands on a podium like this, and he sits here like the president, and he goes, my fellow, where are my teleprompters? <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's like, I'm the president of the United States, why don't I have teleprompters? I'm not memorizing this five page speech. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, I'm the president. And I'm like, we're Thomas Screw right here. And we're up to like cut, and like Glenn Winter and I are just like dying laughing, but we're also scared because like, Five pages is a lot of dialogue. So we're like, we don't have teleprompters, Michael. And he's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and he goes, hold on, give me 15 minutes. He comes back 15 minutes later and nails the whole thing, like, no problem. Like, the but like, it was pretty funny blooper that I don't think is in the show, but no. it did happen. None of that made the show. <laughs> Waste of time. <laughs> Playing bloopers, we always were doing stuff. We're always messing with each other. We're always laughing. You were always breaking. Never. I'm yeah. so concentrated. We just had a good time with each other. We really did. It's like it was just it was, it was so easy, you know. And I think the toughest part was being a guest star, because you'd see them, they'd see, oh my God, they're having so much fun. They've been doing this for so long, and they come on. We'd always feel bad and try to help out the guest stars. I remember one guest star didn't know their lines. Oh, I felt bad. Couldn't learn their lines at all. To the point where I looked at him and I go, hey, I'm gonna stick my, my lines to my forehead. So it's only Michael and I, so imagine if you're a guest on the show, your first scene is walking down this long medical hallway, and you have to interrupt Clark and Lex and give him give them this important like paragraph of information. And this actor comes in and he says, excuse me, we both turn. He was like, uh, sorry. Can, can, we, can I do that again? And he got to the point where Michael. <laughs> Michael just took the sides, which are a little version of the script that you get to see before you go to a scene, and he just held them up in front of me. He goes, just read them, dude, just read them. The guy's like, I can't do that. I'm an actor. Michael's like, no, we do it all the time. <laughs> we do it all the time. Tom, we do it all the time. I'm like, yeah, all the time. <laughs> and the next time, he, he still couldn't do it, so that's when I stuck into my head. And I was like, hey, how's it going? He's like, <laughs> are you sure you guys do this all the time? I'm like, Oh yeah, CGI. I mean, they take off. It was it was a scary moment though. I remember I was I remember one guest star who was never invited back 
Do you remember when he was like the director? Even up, the director said, "Okay, he's about to give him direction." He goes, uh, "Why don't you go back to your chair and you do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and everything will be great." Tom and I looked at each other like, "You won't be coming back." <laughs> he didn't. Yeah, it's really weird. Well, I. So my question is mainly for Kristen and Tom, and it's um, how did you guys feel when you when you were filming your last scene, and if you thought it was like a good ending for your guys' relationship or characters? Well, Kristen was really happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, dude, I got this kryptonite skin. I got I gotta go. In fact, you need me for your close up. We did run. We were ready to go. Oh, I don't remember what we shot. Oh yeah, it was the last scene. It was right outside the studio. They, they, you know, it was like wet and the whole thing. And it was like I couldn't get close to you. If you kept tonight's skin. Oh right, and, and the really thing was burning. Yeah. Yeah. And you and I like listen. The thing is, like we always had trust between the actors on the set. Like we, we kind of had our own thing going on. And then we're like, okay, cool, let's do the scene. All right, cool. Like, right. And Kristen was like, she was done after that. She's like, cool. All right, thanks. And I was like, yeah, run right on. Uh, we'll be here. That's true, yeah. that is how it went. Yeah. It was very rational. On set, at least. You know. But emotional for the characters, but that's what the actor can do. Thank you. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm sorry. Michael does. Michael's showing his videos. He's been filming. Yeah, I was going to be sleeping on our dog. Hey there, what's your question? Oh yes, um, my name is Shane, and uh, during the early years of Smallville, I was, um, and this was before Superman Returns came out, I, I, I was hoping that after they wrapped up the series that they would do a Superman movie based on the Smallville continuity, and my question to you, Tom, is would you have been on board with that if they had? Did you said a Superman video game? Um, no, no if, if, they had, if they had made a Superman movie based on the Smallville, the Smallville continuity, continuity, oh yeah, I would have been on board with we actually, um, we actually, I don't know if I just made this up or not, but I thought we all kind of talked about because we had all gotten to a point in Smallville where it was like we all felt something needed to change, like around six or six, year six or seven. You got rid of me. That was your fault. Yeah. <laughs> and the idea was like, why don't we do a movie in between two seasons where Clark becomes Superman or some version of something, and then we come back to the TV show? And <laughs> I remember talking to Al Wells, and they were like, "You're gonna have to like never happen." Like, no TV show stops to do a movie about itself and then goes back to the TV show. Now you can do whatever you want, but it was just like that work that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Oh, he was already gone. Satisfying answer. He left like mid mid answer. Like, <laughs> he just walked out. Hi. It's my point of view. No, sorry. Uh, uh, I am. Uh, he's doing. He's doing the theme song of my podcast. It's my point of view. You're listening to inside of you. My chorus and my... Thanks, buddy. Look at that. Thanks for listening, man. Free on iTunes. Free on iTunes. Uh, anytime I go to, you know, a restaurant, I always ask the waiter or waitress, what's the craziest table you've encountered or, you know, worst, whatever. The nurses always ask what's the worst patient. What's the strangest fan encounter the three of y'all have had? What's the creepiest or weirdest? <laughs> oh, I've got one. Your one favorite fan encounter is one that Michael had. <laughs> the one that you had. I'm going to steal it from you. Is it the one with the... Uh... So, as you all know, visiting us at our tables, unfortunately sometimes you have to stand in line, and there's, there's a lot of time that's spent in line, and you guys are very patient, and thank you for that. And 99.999% of you meet people who are like, dude, I really love your show, this is the impact I had on me, great to meet you, and it's like all really positive. This dude, Michael's sitting there, and there's, you know, the person leaves, and the next dude comes up and he goes, hey man, I just want to tell you, I waited in line to tell you something. Michael's like, oh, sure. He's like, I think Gene Hackman is the best Lex Luthor ever, not you. <laughs> Michael goes, Michael goes, so do I. <laughs> That's what I said. And the guy was like, well. Two seconds to do that? Let alone 45 minutes? And what I think he was like, he's like, really, I mean, hey, I want to 
just want you to know my favorite is Gene Hackman. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, me too. He's like, oh, all right. All right. I guess what I'm saying. I have this one moment. I was at a Chicago concert. You know the band Chicago? Can you name a song, Tom? I'm like a foreigner guy. If you leave me now, I'll take away the biggest part of me. Are you? How do you do that? Okay, so I went to the Chicago concert and I went to get a beer. And I went to get a beer and this woman who's getting my beer, she goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I go, mm-hmm, what? She goes, I don't know who you are. <laughs> and I go, who am I? She goes, swear, you Lex, baby. <laughs> You Lex, baby. You Lex. <laughs> so I said, I said to her, I go, do you want an autograph or a picture? She goes, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> I don't need no picture. You have a nice evening. <laughs> that was it. And she was just cool as hell. You did get the beer, though, right? Oh, yeah. You got the beer. It wasn't free. <laughs> Now, that's not a You Lex, baby, you now pay you millionaire your fake millionaire money. You have not heard of that team. What's yours? What's yours? Yeah, what's your. I don't have like a specific story. I've had like, I have either really wonderful, amazing fans, a bunch of them are here today, who are incredibly supportive and follow me like places, and they're awesome. Or I get really scary people. Um, so I kind of get on both ends of the spectrum. I think it was this one, I mean, I think Erica did too, but I had a stalker that came to set a lot. Like, we had, we had you did? Oh yeah, I thought we got security. How did you not know this? I always think it's funny about people and their stalkers. Shouldn't you really be with that person because they fucking will kill for you? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, 
I'm sorry, it's not a small group related per se. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for being here and I really appreciate it. I grew up in Smallville and I actually wrote about it in college admissions and I got into my number one college because of it. So thank Amazing. you so much. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and since I recently graduated, I've been having a lot of thoughts about college again. And I know that you are studying right now, Kristen. And I was wondering, what is your major and why did you choose it? And for Tom and Michael, I'm not sure if you guys went to college right now. <laughs> I did, I graduated from Western Kentucky University. There's a hilltopper here tonight, I know. No? I got it. There he is right there, there's a hilltopper. We gotta have a 2.2 to get in, baby, but we got it. Go hilltopper. We got another one, too, over there. Hilltoppers! Woo! Okay, there. Um, Michael, um, what would you guys study and why? What did you study and why? I can hear that. I'm trying to, I'm learning how to. And the sound is great. So real quick, because we got to get out of here. I'll tell you, I'm what studying history. History and why? Why? Yeah. Uh, short answer. Because I am kind of at a place where I want to understand where we are at, where I am at, contextually, and it kind of places me in my present, and I love that. Great. Thank you. Hey, can we get a picture with everybody behind us with the lights on? Can we do that? Uh, yeah. Turn the lights, stand up, and we're going to tweak this.